bullet, a couple of Cabela's gun vices. Typical gun vice. Okay, the front supports any 4 in rubberized jaws, cradle, protect the finish on your rifles and shotguns, rounded bottom compartments for small parts, rigid, chemical resistant polymer construction, non marking, super grip feet prevent skidding. Well, that's pretty good salesmanship there, isn't it? Anyway, found these on sale at Cabela's. I bought two of them for our gunsmithing business. And uh, of course, we have the more expensive ones too. But this here is basically going to be used for cleaning purposes of a firearm. And I can't really argue about the price. At the time, we got them for $24.99. That's not too bad. Normally, they're what, $44.95 or around $50 a piece? So I figured half price, why not? That's about what they were. So, uh, there is a uh, minor assembly involved when you get it. A few different things here, here, here. Uh, some of this was already put together. I slapped on this piece of rubber here. Now this is my 270. It's a Savage stainless steel. Now, I want to show you something a lot of people will complain about about this particular vice is that let us look at the picture look how level that is pretty level isn't it well it's not really that way maybe with the Remington 700 that's in there perhaps it's level but my only drawback to this whole situation here is that this portion of the gun vise is not adjustable up or down but that's not really a big thing. This here is primarily going to be used for cleaning purposes, not necessarily for mounting scopes, taking it apart, and doing different things. So first thing you do with everything, even before it's on here, obviously you check it, make sure it's not loaded, check the magazine. You always work with an unloaded firearm. Common sense there. Okay, now on here you can make little uh, neoprene rubberized inserts to get it up level if you want but the whole purpose of it is if you're taking this whole thing apart and uh, you want to clean it what you want to do is see it took the bolt out lay it down there is that you want to make sure that it is at a little bit of a slanted area to keep the solvents and fluids from uh, pooling in certain areas. Obviously if it's that drenched in cleaning fluids there's a problem to begin with with cleaning procedures. Anyway you go through your cleaning procedures and uh, it works pretty good. It is more or less really chemically resistant. I've used everything on here as far as, as, far as solvents goes. Even a little bit of acetone did not distort the plastic. It's pretty well made. Now a lot of people think a lot of things anymore uh, if they're made out of plastic, they're not solid stainless steel, they're cheap. Well, you know, it's inexpensive, it works, it gets the job done. What do you want? It's well worth the price in my mind. Now, it does have some inserts here. I'm going to go ahead and remove this to show you how to operate it in a minute. Not inserts, uh, uh, inserts, I should say cavities. Put little parts where you take your rifle or handgun apart, whatever it is that you want. You can lay things in there, cleaning fluids, rods, whatever. You can lay a rod down here, where lay right here. Now, to use this is easy. Like I said, you follow the instructions that come with it, and you put the pieces together. It's got to be put together. It's real easy. No sense me explaining in detail on that. Now, this particular one, first mounting procedure up here, or you can slide it down more if you want to help level it out really makes no difference <clears throat> but we'll go ahead and do it this way now this here is adjusted appropriately I want to show you how this works take this back off for a second you can see rifles put in and then it's put in this here can go ahead and lock it in there tight I'll show you that each firearm that you have is going to be adjusted a little bit differently especially the forearm uh, forehand up here uh, where it's either going to sink down or stick up higher here let me show you here basically okay we're just going to do this way you want to go ahead and get oh where it's so so 
barely on there, and you can go ahead, crank the handle around. It locks it in there. Look at that, pretty pretty secure. Up here, obviously, it's a little loose, but down here, it's not going any place. So it's going to lock it down there. So you can go ahead and go uh, go through your cleaning and disassembly procedure if you so desire. But for twenty four ninety nine, it's well worth it. It's easy. Easy to work, easy to do, it's lightweight, it's storable, you put it back in this box, you can put it on your gunsmithing cart or whatever cart it is, you have your uh, cleaning bench, what have you, $24.99, you couldn't, I couldn't pass it up, uh, it was on sale, so wait for the sales, you can get a good deal on it, I recommend it, it's good, you can go ahead and spend $100, $150, $200 or more if you feel good about it. I feel good with spending twenty-five dollars, roughly. So uh, it's not bad. I got two of them. I recommend them. Use them. They're simple to use. You can need it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.